Today I have a short news for you, but it's really amazing because this is about text for 3D and something that actually works, not shapey or these kind of things that look like crap and you can't really do anything with it. This is a really good one. By the way, have you already written in your Apple journal and made a photo sticker today? If not, check out my video from yesterday where I talk about the keynote and it's a really funny video. Let's get started. So here we have their website with the character creation and that already looks a little bit complicated, but don't worry, it is not. This is just showing what is going on behind the hood. And by the way, I found that news on Twitter today, so I don't know the company. I'm not signed up for the beta, so I don't have access to playing with that yet, but it looks really cool. So on the left side, you can see the code that the AI is creating. On the right side, you see these kind of sliders that the AI is moving around. Now, personally, I hope we also get a little bit of access to these sliders because apart from AI, it is good to have a little bit more input control because text is just very limited. Now let's look at the video where they show how the process is working. So the company is called Tuffy. I don't know them. And you can see here that you are writing a text message and you're chatting with the AI to describe the character you want to have. You can change the age and the gender and the physique, all these kind of different variables. Of course, as you can see also here, this is creating clothing for that, different styles, different outfits. Here's a gender change and age change. The hair is also created for that and it looks amazing. Now, if this is the actual output, I am blown away. I can't wait to get my fingers on this amazing tool. And it can do more like this now. Now it's getting pretty scary with the tongue sticking out. And here, this is the cool thing. You can see that this is also 3D animated and you can export it to, th to different 3D programs out there to do all kinds of stuff with that. Another thing that's also interesting that they are pointing out on their website is, apart from all these other things that they are promoting, ethical. So they are saying all content is opted in and artists and contributors are compensated for their contributions, which I personally think is like a good thing in that relation here because you want to have artists feed content into the AI so we get better results from that. Now, what we have seen in the video certainly looks amazing. And on the website, they also say that these 3D models are optimized for all of the big 3D tools out there like Unreal, Unity, Maya, Blender, Days 3D, and so on. So you can just export it and use it in their software. But of course, there's a lot of questions open here on how this actually works. Like, is the character already rigged? And what about the different assets that come with the character? You have seen that this is creating clothing for the character. Is that part of the model? Is that created by the AI? Or are these assets that I have to buy from different creators who are contributing to that page? Also, you've seen that the monster had this kind of wiggly tongue coming out of his mouth. Is that also rigged? Is the AI creating animations for that? Or is that afterwards my job to create animations for that? So how complex is this going to be? But even if it's just the model you're getting and you can export it to Blender or Days 3D, it still is really cool for us because we have then very nice and detailed models that we can use as input either for image to image, you can also use it for control net, but maybe even to create it as a base for your AI videos. So that has a lot of potential. One thing though that I don't know and they, I didn't find information on their page is about the pricing and how it's going to be. I really hope it's not going to be a subscription model. Also, I hope they have a consumer pricing also so we can actually play with that. It's not just a professional industry tool, which would be incredibly expensive. So we have to see where this direction is going and I hope I get access to the beta soon so I can show you more information about this incredibly looking tool. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.